Hey everybody, welcome back to another Nash for Diecast review here today. This is Jack Speaker here once again, and this is review number 38 of 2021. And holy grafilterfish, check what I got here, everybody. I got nine die casts that are all from the same company, Racing Champions. I got some 1995 trucks, a Bush Series car from 1997, and the 2005 Nash for Diecast for you, everybody. And my goodness, this is absolutely awesome. So let's take these diecast out of the packages here and get these diecast reviewed here for review number 38 of 2021. So here is the 1995 Truck Series diecast lineup here. This is how we're going to start it off. We're going to do the five Truck Series drivers first. And we're going to start it off right here to the left, which is the 1995 Rob McCatron number 12 Venable Racing Ford F-150. Next to Rob McCatron, this is the 1995 TJ Clark ASC Certified Ford F-150. Next to TJ Clark is the 1995 Bill Sedgwick Speeders Chevrolet. Next to Bill Sedgwick, this is the 1995 Steve Portica, the Coffee Critic, Critic and Mission Chevrolet Silverado. And then the last truck in this lineup is the 1995 Butch Miller Rebusto's Ford F-150. And by the way, I actually have three of the same truck. Uh, it was by accident. Um, hopefully I won't do that again. But that is it for your 1995 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series lineup here. Or else I would say Super Truck Series. That's what they called it back then uh, in the beginning of 1995. We're going to go on to the next die cast, which is the 1997 Kevin LePage Hype Chevrolet from the NASCAR Bush National Series. So here's the next die cast in this review here. This is the Cavill Page 1997 Hype Chevrolet Monte Carlo from the NASCAR Bush National Series. And man, I am so hyped about this NASCAR die cast because I used to have this Kevin Page as a kid in the 124 skill. Now I get it in the 164 skill die cast. And holy cow, I'm hyped. Let's go over this hype die cast here. So there it is. Hype on the hood with Monte Carlo as the nose right there, the Monte Carlo nose. Then here is the left side, and my goodness, look at the colors on this with red, blue, and lime green. Holy moly, I'm so hyped about this. The hype is real! Sorry. There is the roof. Security Central and Hype on the back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just really hyped right now about this die cast. And here is the right side of the die cast here. Same size left. If you guys are looking for this Hype car for Kevin LePage in 1997, I recommend you guys to get it because, man, you'll be feeling hyped. Sorry for the awful puns, but you know what? This really does hype me up after all. This die cast review hypes me up. And we're going to go on to the... The, uh, the 2005 die cast was started off with the Brian Vickers 2005 GMAC Chevrolet. So here's the next die cast in this review. This is the 2005 Brian Vickers GMAC DieTech.com Chevrolet Monte Carlo from the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. And this is Brian Vickers sophomore season as it would be in 2005. Um, this is very similar to the 2004 die cast. Uh, but it has no rookie structure to go over this die cast for you guys. So here it is right here Starting off with the front. Here is the Monte Carlo nose GMC die and Chevrolet on the hood Then here is the left side right here very similar paint scheme to the 2004 paint scheme that he ran in his rookie season Then here is the roof right here And here is the deck one in the back, GMC prote protection plan on the deck one, and GMC and ins GMAC insurance on the back. And here is your right side of the die cast here, same size as the left. And if you guys are looking for the Brian Vickers 2005 die cast, I recommend you guys to get it. Um, if you don't want racing champions, that's completely fine. Uh, but just be aware of how much money you're going to spend on the die cast and stuff. Um, Every old die cast, basically from this point on, you know, from the 90s and, and so as well as 
you know, 2010 as well. They're very, very rare to hard to find. So uh, be careful basically how much you're spending money on the die cast and stuff. Uh, but that is it for the Brian Figure 2005 die cast. We're going to go on to the next one, which will be the Sterling Marlin 2005 Cotman Bush Series die cast. The Cotman Dodge for Sterling Marlin 2005. So here's the next die cast in this review. This is the Sterling Marlin 2005 Codman Transmission Dodge from Fitz Bradshaw Racing, even though it actually looks like to be acquired by Chip Ganassi. Uh, very, very nice die cast here. We're going to go over this now. This is from the NASCAR Bush National Series, by the way. So here it is right here, starting off at the front. There is Cotman Transmission on the hood, and there is the Dodge Charger nose. Here is the left side of the die cast here. Here is the roof. And here is a Declan in the back. There is Gold's Pumps on the Declan and Cotman on the back. Cotman.com. And here is the right side of the die cast here. Same side as the left. Sorry basically for the shakiness of the camera there. But um, if you guys are looking for the 2005 Sterling Marlin Cotman Transmission die cast, I recommend you guys get it. And man, what a very nice die cast this was for me. I really like how the molds of the Dodge Chargers were in 2005. Uh, Racing Champions uh, didn't necessarily make much in 2006. Uh, I think after 2006, basically, they were pretty much completely done, so... Uh, but that is it right there for Sterling Marlin. We're going to go on to the next die cast in the final die cast in this review, which will be on the Jimmy Johnson Bush Series Lowe's Cobalt Chevrolet Monte Carlo. So here is the final die cast in this review. This is the Jimmy Johnson 2005 Lowe's Cobalt Chevrolet Monte Carlo that he ran in the NASCAR Bush Grenadier Series. This is his Bush Series paint scheme here. Very similar to the Cup Series one, but uh, a little bit more of uh, some... Lightning bolts, I think I see in there too. So we're gonna go ahead and basically look at this die cast here. Take a look at it right here. Here's the front, the Monte Carlo nose and Lowe's on the hood. And here is the left side of the die cast here. Yeah, these little light blue stripes, and that's lightning bolts as you guys can see there. Very, very nice. Here is the roof. There is Cobalt Power Tools on the Declan there and Lowe's on the back. And here is the right side of the die cast here, same size as the left. And if you guys are looking for the Jimmy Johnson 2005 Bush Green National Series die cast, the Lowe's Cobalt Chevrolet, I recommend you guys to get it. It is very similar to the Cup Series paint scheme, but uh, this one has got a little bit of lightning bolts on it as well, some... Um, you know, some different stuff on it, but uh, this is his Bush Series car that ran in 05. Um, Jimmy Johnson really wasn't the best in Bush Grafter Series racing at the time. Well, the old Xfinity Series. He wasn't necessarily the best there, but pretty much we all know now basically who he is. Seven-time champion in the Cup Series. My goodness, that is just very impressive with 83 wins. Um, but uh, yeah, that is that will be it for this National Dye Cup review. This is it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Jack's Bay, everybody. Uh, make sure you guys like and comment, subscribe. I got more Nashville Diecast reviews coming out. Uh, I'm having two more Nashville Diecast come my way, and hopefully they'll be uh, here by the coming up of the first several days of the, in the new week. Uh, but this has been Jack's Becky, everybody. Keep on fighting, good fight. God's got a plan for all of us. Signing out.